Hi, I'm sitting here on my lawn with a sprinkler head that doesn't work. You can see by all the, the dry grass here that uh, this whole area of the lawn is actually pretty stressed out because when I run my sprinklers, this particular head does not pop up or it just blurts water, a little bit of water out. Uh, this is actually 16 years old. It's been, it was in here since when the house was installed and it's been sitting here ever since. So it's time to, re to replace it. What I have here is a brand new one. Uh, I got this for about 10, 11 bucks down at the hardware store. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to do, not a hard project. Uh, if you're working with sprinklers for the very first time, this is a good project to kind of get yourself into it and kind of see what's going on with it. So uh, let's go ahead and take this one out. Let's put this one in, see how things work. All right, as you can see, I've dug out. I have a little bit of a water pipe coming up. What I'm gonna do, okay, I got a, I got a coupling here and I have this thing. I'm gonna take this whole thing off. First, I'm gonna kind of clear out around it so I get some more space. I don't want a lot of dirt falling into my line, so I should really go below. And it looks like they have a little extender here too, so I'll take this off. All right, looking pretty good. And what you get is a little coupling. I'll take that off. All right, got that. And this is really what I want. I want to actually take this off because the bottom of the new one is a female piece. And it looks like they try to raise it up above the, the lawn with these couplings. Uh, let me see if it'll fit. You want it to be, yeah, it's pretty low. Okay, let me go ahead and clean that off and I'll put it back on. And I have this piece here. I want to clean that off. Again, just rub it around in my bucket of water. I'm going to take it off here. Let's see. All right. So now I've taken this off the bottom of the old one. I'm just going to throw that away. So now this, this is a three-quarter inch male. That should fit into the female just fine. I might want to tighten it up with a little wrench here. I don't want to cross-thread it. That's pretty good. Nice and tight. And then because they have an extender, so it's coming further out of the ground, so that means the water line below this, below the, the, the soil. Uh, let's see, they both look about the same. I'll put the coupling onto this side. And then I'll go ahead and put some water around the threads here, get some of that dirt off. Good. Now we screw it in. And there we go. Oops. Let's screw it on a little better there. There we go. Now, with this particular nozzle, or this particular sprinkler, the nozzle's here, so I'm going to turn it around so it's tight. And I'm going to try to aim it. You can adjust these. They are normally set up for about 180 degrees. And you can look, check on the instructions to kind of see the adjustment. Uh, typically you want to go to the far right of the sprinkle. So it'll go now 180 degrees, so it's all the way around and back around. That might be default. We'll see what really happens when we turn it on. That's all you can do. Fill it back in, you're done. 